How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Monitor Comics, the channel where we create comics and manga. If this is your first time checking out my channel, then I hope you can check out some of my other videos after you're finished watching this one. We've already covered a ton of cool topics such as how to create relatable manga characters, how to write female shonen characters, and how to create shonen power systems. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to professionally publish your comics and manga. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety because we'll be talking about the pros and cons of self-publishing versus working with a publishing company. I will also be sharing with you my formula for creating the perfect elevator pitch. This formula will give you a leg up when it's time for you to pitch your comic and manga projects to professional publishers. But first, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. With Skillshare, you can explore new skills, deepen your creative passion, and get lost in creativity. Right now, I'm taking a class called Character Illustration, drawing faces, figures, and clothes by the comic artist Gabriel Piccolo. As a published Saturday AM comic artist, knowing how to design expressive characters is super important. This class has taught me the fundamentals of creating professional character illustrations. I learned about the four core character expressions and how to convey extreme emotions through character art. With the Skillshare Premium Membership, you'll gain unlimited access to thousands of video lessons and class projects. Classes can range from illustration, animation, creative writing, freelancing, and much, much more. There are even some super cool comic and manga making tutorials that I'll definitely be checking out. Skillshare is an amazing place to fuel your curiosity. The best part is Skillshare has classes that fit any schedule and any skill level. In fact, most of the classes are under 60 minutes. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means that there are no ads and they will always be launching new premium classes. Skillshare also has a very strong creative community that you can tap into for support, encouragement, and inspiration at any time. But wait, there's more because I have a special offer for you. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free one month trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Do something today that you couldn't do yesterday with short classes designed for real life. Thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring this video and continuing to help the creative community. And now, let's get back to the video. First, what exactly does it mean to publish your comic or manga project? According to our good friends over at Oxford Dictionary, publishing refers to preparing and issuing your comics and manga for sale. When you publish a piece of work, either through a traditional publisher or through self-publishing, you are considered a published author with your own intellectual property. An intellectual property, or IP for short, is a work or invention that is the result of creativity, such as a manuscript or a design or a comic or manga, to which one has rights and for which one may apply for a patent, copyright, trademark, etc. Etc. Typically, Western comics are compiled into physical issues. Each issue contains a singular story to a specific series. Think of Marvel and DC Comics. Many of their comics are formatted in this way. Manga is a bit different. Multiple chapters of one overarching story are compiled into a singular volume known as a Tonkaban. A manga volume may contain over five chapters of a singular series. With the rise in popularity of digital web comics, publishing online has become more common for independent creators. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's first talk about the differences between self-publishing and publishing through an established company. Self-publishing can be defined as publishing a piece of one's work independently and at one's own expense without the involvement of an established publisher. Self-publishing has many advantages and disadvantages. One advantage of self-publishing is faster exposure. Theoretically, if you finished your comic or manga today, you can market it tomorrow. The publishing speed is not possible when you work with an established publisher. Some publishing companies take 6 to 18 months minimum to get your book to market. Another advantage of self-publishing is better royalties. Typically, publishing houses pay authors royalties based on the books they sell. For example, you may receive 10% of the list price for each book sold, while the rest goes to the publisher. In contrast, if you self-publish with Amazon, you are able to receive 70% of the list price. Self-publishing through Amazon also allows you to retain the rights for adaptations like film and TV shows. The third advantage of self-publishing is longer shelf life. If you are published through a traditional publisher, your book may only be sold in bookstores for a few months. Books are constantly cycled out in stores to feature new releases. With self-publishing, digital books remain on digital bookshelves indefinitely. Potential readers can always find your work with the click of a button. The larger you grow your fan base through social media marketing, the more eyes you will have on your comics and manga. Moving on to the advantages and disadvantages of traditional publishing, let's first talk about editorial support. When you work with an established company, you have several editors who assist you with your writing. They proofread your work and provide suggestions to make your story better. Another advantage of traditional publishing is marketing support. Traditional publishers have more funding to promote your work through different media sources. Traditional publishers also have weight to their name. 
there will always be an audience keeping an eye out for your established publisher's newest book release. When you are self-published, you are all on your own. You have to edit and proofread your work alone. You have to build a fan base and distribute your work on your own. To compete with an established publisher's new release, your self-published comic or manga must have a compelling story, high quality artwork, a clean design, and marketability. Traditional publishers have the advantage of securing third-party testimonials and reviews for your published work. Endorsements like this can be critical for marketing your book to a target audience. If you are an author self-publishing your comic or manga, then it might be in your best interest to send free copies to trusted reviewers or writers in the community to endorse your work. In the self-publishing space, some popular print-on-demand companies include Amazon Kindle, Ingram Spark, BookBaby, Blurb, and Lulu. With the recent surge in digital webcomics, Sites like Webtoons and Tapastic are also great options for self-publishing. For traditional publishing, companies like Dark Horse, Tokyopop, The Atlantic Press, and Saturday AM are great ways for publishing your story that is in a manga style. When it comes to process, self-publishing is the most straightforward. You can upload your completed comic or manga project online as a digital ebook that people can purchase, or you can upload your completed comic and manga to a print-on-demand service like the ones previously mentioned. When it comes to working with an established publisher, it's a bit harder. Usually, comic publishers host submission periods where you can send your work in for review. Some other publications hold contests where you can pitch a short story and if it is selected, you can compete and potentially be published. To give you an example, I'll share with you how I got my manga series, Change the World, serialized with Saturday AM. If you don't know who Saturday AM is, Saturday AM is the world's most diverse manga global anthology. Saturday AM has over four magazines and over 100 issues. You may recognize some of their artists, including White Manga, Saigami Project, and Jay Odin. Saturday AM hosts an annual one-shot manga competition called Summer on Manga. Basically, select artists create short stories and manga concepts and run alongside Saturday AM's published series. If the feedback surveys favor the newcomer's one-shots, they may have an opportunity to publish their idea inside one of the magazines as an official series. Usually, comic publishers have an age limit of 18 or 21 for their contests. Publishers will ask to see former comics and manga projects you have created, and a public art portfolio. Publishers will also ask to hear an elevator pitch for your comic idea. An elevator pitch is a succinct and persuasive sales pitch. It is a short description of your idea that explains the concept in a way that any listener can understand in a short period of time. I'm going to share with you an elevator pitch formula that I have learned through working with my current publisher. If you follow this six sentence template, then you'll be able to pitch your story idea to any publisher no problem. Sentence one, where does your story take place? Sentence two, who is your main character? Sentence three, what is your main character's goal in the story? Sentence four, what main conflict stands in the way of your main character's goal? Sentence five, how is the main conflict in your story resolved? Sentence six, how does your story conclude? Now, you know everything you need to know about publishing and self-publishing your comic and manga project. Remember, if there is a specific publisher that you want to work with, their submission guidelines will be available somewhere on their website. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below telling us about the comic, manga, or webtoon project you are currently working on. You can support me on all my social media accounts using the links down in the description below. I go live on YouTube every once in a while. If you ever miss a stream, you can rewatch the VOD by going to my unlisted playlist called Livestream VODs. As always, keep creating everyone. I'll see you all in the next one.